The CMA desktop is able to search your organizational directories. In this section, we will walk you through searching that directory, adding users to your contact list, customizing those contact lists, and placing video calls. The CMA desktop is much like many instant message clients. And the first thing you'll want to do is add some of your contacts or your buddies. Do this by selecting the directory icon. The directory icon will bring up the directory dialog box where you would search for users in your environment. I will simply type in a name. The search will happen automatically. I've seen that Bob has shown up in the directory and in this case I'm going to add Bob to my contact list because he's one of my colleagues and I call him a lot. Once you've chosen to add Bob to your contact list you're presented with a dialogue that will allow you to give a customized name to Bob or Bob's system. Also in this section you can add Bob to a specific group should you choose to. I'm going to leave Bob's name the way it is and click the OK button. Once I've clicked the OK button, you will notice that Bob shows up in my All category with a little green sphere as well as an invite. Once Bob has been accepted as my contact list participant, this will change to a chat icon because Bob is on a CMA desktop. Now that Bob has accepted my invitation to be a colleague, I can see that I can chat with him or simply place a call to Bob. I've taken the liberty of adding a few other employees to my desktop contact list as well as the recording studio and even a conference room. I'll now show you how to add manually created entries into the CMA desktop contact list. Right click on a category heading Go to the bottom of that menu and click Create Contact. Enter the friendly name, such as Meeting Room 1, the E164 address or IP address, the group, title, location, a phone in the room, or even an email contact, and click OK. You will notice that Meeting Room 1 now shows up in the contact list. Once your invite has been accepted, the next thing you might like to do is add that user to a custom category. Once again, click All or a Contact Group heading and say Create Group. I will create a group that says Meeting Rooms. Now you will notice a category of Meeting Rooms is showing in the contact list. In order to add a meeting room, which is a bridge resource, I will simply right click on meeting room and say copy to contact group. Choose the appropriate contact category and say OK. You will now see that the contact is copied from the all down to the meeting room contact group. This really expedites the ability to meet, enter into multi-point call meeting rooms and can be filled up with, with many meeting rooms based on your needs. These categories can be customized to include hardware, software, or even recording and streaming devices. Another function of the contact list is the ability to capture your recent calls. In the drop-down, you will see all the calls that have been placed or received via the CMA desktop. The icon will indicate whether the call was incoming or outgoing and will tell you whether you actually missed a call. Once you have uh, highlighted a particular recent call, you can simply right-click and show the details of that call. In this dialog, you can see the display name, the caller's address, the current status, and even a call list with date and timestamps. 